Last year, several buildings collapsed, including a three-story building in Ofanko, a six-story building at the University for Development Studies campus in Sagnerugu, a classroom block in the Tain district, which caused five deaths, amongst others. According to the Ghana Engineering Council, engineers who fail to adhere to building standards will be sanctioned. If the individuals are found culpable, we can suspend their licenses. We can also revoke their licenses completely if we think that what they've done is so serious that, you know, and then we can also uh, find them. The council is willing to do this. We are ready, you know, to start uh, the enforcement. The council is meanwhile encouraging various assemblies to only work with registered engineers. From the assembly level, they have to look out for people who are licensed or who have been registered to practice engineering in the country. And they can uh, do designs for individuals. If you are building your house, you have to give your uh, work to somebody who has been licensed. If you give it to anybody at all, if he goes for permit, it will not be approved. For his part, board chairman of the Engineering Council Ghana, engineer Dr. Kwame Boache said Ghana is not fully utilizing its engineers. No nation can develop without engineering. Ghana and Africa in general, we are going nowhere without engineering. We are not making the most use of engineering. You know, contrast us with China. China is using engineering at every level. And in fact, it is not just people doing design and so on. See, by the nature of the training of you know, engineering, you're, you're trained to solve problems. The breakfast meeting brought together engineering stakeholders from state agencies and the private sector to discuss and push for the engineering agenda.